Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Let's start Chapter 6, then. Where did I put that file? Ah, there we go. I've got so many save files, just in case. You know I'm OCD like that, viewers. Dear sirs and madams, I hope these dark days find you well. However, I, Laharl, am deeply concerned with the state of the Netherworld. I'm disappointed that you're not giving me I your money. I am well aware that unnecessary bloodshed is not your desire. Your bloodshed? Therefore, I am writing to propose a formal challenge. An event with my father's title at stake. No the one title makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! The rules are simple. On Cursed Day, in the month of the Adder, I shall journey to the heart of evil. Carrying with me the official deed. Adder is like a snake, The one who isn't it? rests the deed from my hand shall be recognized as the new overlord. I don't know. In the event that I reach my destination still in possession of the deed, I shall assume the position myself. Biology to was not those my with strong great ambition, yours. I encourage you to participate. Sincerely, Prince Laharl. Nice uh, penmanship there, Laharl. I'm surprised you could write what do you so think? well. Excellent penmanship, oh. huh? <laughs> I forgot he said that. <laughs> yes, but according to the Netherworld calendar, isn't today the designated day? That's right. I've ordered the Prinnies to spread copies of this letter all over the Netherworld. The demons aiming to become Overlord are probably lying in ambush right now. Oh. Well, okay. Let's um, take them out. Prince, is this offer open to anyone? Are you an idiot? Huh? Don't you get it? There's no deed for the position of overlord. Ah. Oh. Huh? This is a trap. Look at what's happened recently. I thought that I might as well get rid of anyone still planning to claim the throne. You would oh, think everyone would want it. Oh, I see. And when I've defeated them all, I will be the unquestioned overlord. Uh, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. But doesn't it kind of defeat the purpose of becoming the Overlord if all Episode your subjects six, are Laharl's dead? Challenge. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Call me crazy. But anyway, uh, oh. where'd everyone go? That's weird. Where'd all those level 300 guys go? I mean, there's some of these guys here, but most of them are only in the PSP version Prince, of the I'm game. Prince, I'm going to the bathroom, okay? Uh, sure, why not? Take a pee break. See if I can. Oh. I wonder how that worked, anyway. Maybe it has to do with vampirism or something. What do you mean? Well... Ah, well, because he figures you're pretty powerful and he could use your help. What do you mean by that? Oh, well, yeah, with the blue hair and everything like that. Hmm, huh, interesting. But anyway, yeah, make sure you read it in a diary entry there. And, okay, so what I want to do here is, let's see, I want to go through the item world with the psych orb and the muscle hustle there to uh, get those arms masters off of them, or subdue them, and move them to something else. Uh, I've, decided, I've already done this off screen and I decided to give them to my uh, scout there because, well, he only has uh, A rank growth in guns and Etna's already starting to do pretty good and yeah, let's take a look there. Wow, you've already got level 10 staff mastery. But yeah, we're doing pretty good there. So yeah, he's only at level 6 but he only has A rank growth while my Bushi and Ninja have S rank growth, so they're already going to be doing pretty good to begin with. So, let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll be doing pretty good. How's okay. it going? Yeah, where did they all go? Oh, I guess that's where the heart of evil is. Okay, let's head on over there. How many people could possibly want to be challenging me for the throne? Hmm? 
Well, yeah, what do you mean, everyone? Whoa, holy crap! I'll just tell you right now, there's 27 guys there. <laughs> holy cow! Wasn't the maximum in Final Fantasy Tactics uh, 11 monks? I think it was like the maximum number enemies that you ever fought at one time. I forget. But anyway, yeah. You can't even go anywhere. What are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, let's take him out. Fortunately, I do have some AoEs, so let's get started there. Let's have Laharl use Wind Cutter on the front three there. Oops. Sorry, I forgot to turn these off after, or turn these back on after going through the uh, item world there. Okay, let's see. Flan? How many can we get there? I'm just trying to hit, like, five enemies if I can. What do you have on your star magic? Yeah, okay, so the most we can hit is five, but... I don't see five arranged very nicely for me. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see, fun. You go over there. Oh, you know what? Why don't you, uh, stay behind there, so that way they don't hit us with their AoEs. Let's go with that. Yeah, always use star magic on large groups of enemies, so that way... Uh, what is it? So that way you uh, don't hit, like, an elemental strength of theirs. See, I think we can take that guy out. There we go. Uh, let's see. My ninja should be able to handle them, but you know what? Let's... Uh, send out the Bushi instead. Let's hit someone who... Actually, you know what? Oh, no, I have an even better idea. Let's send you take out that guy. And then send... Oh. I thought I'd be able to get over there. I guess not. Okay, never mind. Whatever, my ninja can uh, dodge anything they throw at us anyway. And we've immobilized one of them also. Hmm, Etna might be able to uh, finish them off. Okay, I know I'm ignoring my own advice by uh, not uh, spreading out my characters, but well, whatever, we'll be fine. Let's see, one of those nightmares will probably line up and try to hit my three there. Ow, put it. Ow, put it. Do you have any other elements that you could use on us? Oh, yeah, they can poison us. That could be annoying. And they can't even touch my ninja. <laughs> yeah, hit your own guy while you're at it. That's a great idea. Okay. Let's see. Not much we can do there. Ah! We hit that guy. Ha! Let's see, and then you can hit that zombie over there. Why don't you go over here and hit that guy? Doro the Explorer. No. No. Oh, no. No, don't go there. Doro must be uh, Dora's younger brother. Or maybe older brother. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's do that. Time for you to get closer to the action there, Carl. Hmm. I do not like that nightmare there, but I can't get to him. Maybe, uh, I can take him out. Or, ah, I got a better idea. I have an idea. That actually deals three hits. I know it only looks like two, but it's three. Yeah, I don't need that nightmare, uh, hitting us multiple times there. Like, all the enemies here are level 12, by the way. So, even though there's a lot of them, it's not going to be that hard with our levels by this point. 
Let's see, why don't you go... Oh. Okay, you've already taken your turn. Never mind. I was going to try and take out that other guy. But, uh... Never mind. Man, these guys got a lot of spells. Yeah, maybe I should have left the spell animations off. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, that's that minimize move that uh, paralyzes you. If he can actually hit you with it, which he cannot. So, fortunate for me. Yeah, you want to try and leave... Oh, just hit the wrong one. That's... You want to try and leave your ranger and flan behind there, so that way they, don't, they can... Stay out of harm's way. As much as possible. Let's see, you move there. Okay. Okay. Flan, work your magic. So you can go with a two by two there. That ought to work. Alright! Go Flan! Holy cow! That's gonna do wonders for your, uh, for your mana production there. We're gonna be doing more transmigrations eventually, viewers, so... You still want to collect mana for people. Here I come. Although, we're not gonna be doing transmigrations again for quite a while. The next several chapters, well, maybe not several, but the next few chapters will be moving through pretty quickly with very, very minimal grind. Or promotion exams, for that matter. Because, really, promotion exams, as far as, like, using them for leveling or getting characters up to speed, they're really only useful up through, like, the sixth promotion exam. And we're already up to five. Once you go past the sixth one, then the enemies actually start wising up and realizing, hey, he's uh, ambushing us and taking us out, or picking us off one by one, and they just start swarming you. And you just, you can't just sit back and wait for the enemies to come to you. So, just something to keep in mind there. So yeah, usually when you get up to about level 22 or so, that's about when promotion exams really don't work so well for leveling. So, I just think they're a really ultra-efficient way of taking care of those if you're taking care of leveling up early on without actually, or without traditional grinding, so to speak. So, alright. Man, that was a lot of enemies to uh, get through there. Oh man, no rewards from the hospital yet. Oh well. But can Laharl hit better than the Cubs? Find out next time on Let's Play Disgaea! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!